What I propose in this book in working with other organizations globally as well as locally is that we create a global high seas marine preserve to close off international waters to commercial fishing. What would be closed off to commercial fishing is about 1% of the fishermen in the world. Because 1% of the fishermen are responsible for about 70% of the catch and they are just decimating the oceans. The way this happened is the same way that it happened with uh, buffalo. When people were killing buffalo with bows and arrows and single shot muskets, you weren't going to do, have the mass extinction of uh, buffalo. When people were whaling on small whaling vessels close to shore, they weren't going to be taking enough whales if it was going to be the threat of existence of all whales. But as technology improved, the ability of the buffalo to survive those changes in technology decreased. And once you had railroads and repeating rifles, at that point, it was literally almost all over. A small handful of people, like you, got involved, and that small handful of people is what made the difference that saved the buffalo from extinction. And had it not been for concerned individuals with whaling commissions, we wouldn't have whales. They would have just been completely killed off. I don't worry too much about little criminal organizations that do the things that are current news today. Because when I was in the anti-nuclear movement, I was concerned that we were going to blow up the world. It was a different threat in a different time period. But I did not for the life of me think that we would be killing off all of the fish in the oceans. I didn't think that was possible, yet it has not only become possible, it is a reality.